Today, I'm gonna show you one of the most affordable ways to get a DSLR for your streams and for your YouTube videos. Hey guys, what's up with Gravity and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So recently in the streaming community, everyone has become obsessed with using DSLRs as webcams and for good reason. They look incredible. They give you that nice depth of field look with a blurry background. They'd absolutely blow the doors off the quality of any webcam on the market today. There's just one issue. They can be expensive. They can be very expensive. But what if I told you that you could have your very own DSLR for the similar price or possibly even lower than a Logitech Brio? So some of the cameras that streamers are currently considering when they're upgrading from a webcam are cameras like the Canon M200, the Sony A5100, the Sony A6100, the Panasonic G7, and even the Canon M50. But one thing you're gonna notice about all these cameras is that they are gonna set you back a bit. These cameras can range from like $500 to $700. Actually, I think they even go higher than that. I haven't looked at them in a while, but they do get rather expensive. But the one piece of advice I have, if you're on a budget looking for a DSLR and wanna upgrade the looks of your streams, is to go onto eBay and look for older cameras. Look for some older DSLRs that are being sold on eBay because they might be lacking a couple features that are being packed into these newer cameras, but I absolutely promise you, when it comes to picture quality, they are going to blow the doors off of any webcam that is coming out today. Even a 10-year-old DSLR is going to look fantastic compared to any webcam today. And to prove it, I'm gonna jump onto eBay right now and I'm gonna show you the 10-year-old Canon DSLR that I recommend you get if you're on a budget looking to upgrade to a DSLR. So here we are on eBay, and the first camera we're gonna look up that I'm gonna recommend is the Canon T2i. This came out in 2010, but it's still going to be a great deal today. So if we look at these right here, we're gonna immediately see that you're looking for ones around $150. Granted, this is the body only, you're gonna to wanna to get one with a lens, but what I actually wanna show you is if we come down here, we can actually select to see the ones that have already sold. Where is that at? Right here. Let's click sold items, and we can take a look at how much some of these have actually sold for recently. So right here, there's a Rebel T2i with a lens, battery, charger, everything you need, $165. So there's one there. Here's another one with a lens, $165. Here's another one with a lens, $150. Here's one right here, DSLR with case, charger, lens, $132. Need I remind you that the Brio is like $180 to $200, I believe right now. That's how much the Brio Logitech Brio webcam is. But as you can see, you can get a great deal on one of these cameras. But there's one more camera I do wanna show you. So this T2i came out in 2010. But in 2011, they actually released the T3i, and this is going to be my main recommendation. So the only real difference between the T2i and the T3i is they added the flip out LCD. The T2i just has a fixed LCD on the back of the screen, so you can't flip it out if you're planning on shooting yourself. So if that's important to you, I'd look at the T3i. It's gonna be just a little bit more expensive, but if you're using it for a stream camera and you really don't care about seeing yourself because you're gonna be able to see yourself in like OBS or whatever streaming software you're gonna use, you can go with the T2i. You don't need to have that flip out LCD, but if you're using it for YouTube, maybe go with the T3i. And here you're gonna see that we've got some T3i's here, but if we go ahead and scroll down, you're gonna see that we can find some like this that are going for under 200. You're gonna see some more expensive one here. 220 is not bad, but 199, we're still under $200 here. Um, let's keep scrolling down and see what we can find. Here's one for $192, sold February 22nd. So you can see these are recent listings. This is how much you can get these for if you're paying attention and bidding on them. Some of them are even buy it now pretty low, but if you bid on them, you can get some really good prices. It's absolutely blowing my mind that this thing is going for under $200 or right around $200 nowadays with the image that you can still pull out of this 10 year old T3i. And to prove that you can just crush a Logitech C920 or any kind of webcam with a Canon T3i from 10 years ago. Let's go ahead and snipe one of these bids here and get one and boom, sniped. <laughs> there we go. There it is, we've got one. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. And here it is, 
this is the Canon T3i. We have got it. As you can see, it's just a typical looking DSLR, looking nice. Here is the flip out screen I was talking about so I can vlog and I can see what I am doing or I can flip it back just like this. I can even flip it back to protect the screen and have the plastic side facing out. It's a really good looking DSLR and it packs a punch. Although being 10 years old, it can get an incredible image. So we are going to plug this into my computer and we're gonna use it as a webcam and we're gonna compare this thing to the Logitech C920, the most common webcam on the market right now. And I'm gonna to prove to you that this 10 year old camera right here, this 10 year old DSLR is going to absolutely wipe the floor with a Logitech C920. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the image. And here it is. This is the Canon T3i plugged into my computer being utilized as a webcam. A freaking 10 year old camera is pulling this image compared to this, a Logitech C920. As you can see, it is looking awful compared to the Canon T3i. This thing is absolutely destroying it. You're getting it the depth of field look, the blurry background. It is just looking incredible. And not to mention the Canon T3i also being a DSLR means that it is an interchangeable lens system. You can swap out lenses. You can get a wider lens in the future if you want. You can get a telephoto lens. You can change your look later using lenses. But with the Logitech C920 with a webcam, you're just stuck to one focal length. So one thing I do want to mention is that I mentioned in the newer cameras, they're trying to pack all these new features into them that the Canon T3i might be lacking because it is a little bit old. And the one feature that I think it is lacking the most is autofocus. It does not have continuous autofocus, but in my eyes, that really doesn't matter for a streaming webcam. You can really just set the focus and then forget about it. You're just sitting at your desk. You're not really moving around. The focus isn't changing. So once you set it, you should be good to go. You're in focus. The camera doesn't really need to be constantly autofocusing. And there we go. After spending $200 on a Canon T3i, you've got a camera to start streaming with, but you might be thinking, hey, I need to spend another $100 on a cam link. I have to be able to run this into my computer using a cam link, right? No, the reason why I chose an old Canon camera is because Canon recently released their EOS webcam utility. It is a software that makes any Canon camera just be recognized as a webcam. So you can download the software from a link in the description. Once you get it downloaded, you just forget about it. You plug your camera in from the basic USB port into your PC and OBS just recognizes it as a webcam right away. That is all you need to do, and it is incredible. Blew my mind, it's what I used when I ran the tests against the Logitech C920. That was just running in through the USB using their software, no cam link needed. When you are going to set this up as your webcam, you do wanna make sure that you go into the settings and turn off the auto power off setting. You can turn that off so that this thing will just stay there and run the whole time you're streaming and won't auto power off after 30 seconds to a minute. You can just go into the settings, turn that off, and you're ready to go. Your webcam will stay on for the whole stream. But now we just have one more thing to cover so you're ready to start streaming but you're thinking how am I gonna run this camera for the entirety of the stream when it just runs off of a basic battery right here well you can actually go on to Amazon and spend another $20 only $20 and you can get yourself a dummy battery that allows you to plug it into the wall so I'm gonna purchase one here and just like that, we have got a dummy battery. So now we can just take that dummy battery, open up our battery door, stick the dummy battery in, and then the cable will come out this little bitty grommet that is specifically built for this reason to be able to use dummy batteries. The cable just comes out the side. You could plug that directly into the wall, and then you're running your Canon T3i off of freaking wall power. So for $220, you spent $220, $200 for the camera, $20 for the dummy battery. You've got this thing rigged out as a webcam. You got cables coming off of it. You got your USB going into your PC, you got your battery cable coming out, running it off a of wall power. This thing is now a tank. It's never shutting off. It's never dying. It works as a webcam and it's 220 freaking dollars. So if you're ready to upgrade your stream, you really want a DSLR, but you don't want to pull the trigger on a $600, $700 camera with a cam link. Take a look at eBay, take a look at a 10 year old camera because I promise it's going to blow your socks off how good it looks compared to a freaking webcam. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know we were kind of all over the place with the dummy battery in the bottom and plugging it in from the USB to the Canon software and comparing it to the webcams. It was kind of a long video, but I'm just so excited about how good it looks and that a 10-year-old camera can still be used as an incredible streaming camera today. I might actually find a way to utilize this in my own streams, have it be my background camera up in the corner, nice wide angle lens showing everything because it looks way better than my webcam that I normally have up there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider checking out eBay for some Canon T3i's and make your streams look freaking awesome with the DSLR look, the depth of field background, and I'll see you guys in the next video.